morning you guys from Ashford International. My hair is crazy. I'm so sorry. Um, we are off to Disneyland Paris today. Oh my life. So I've literally been back at work for five weeks and now I'm having four days in Disneyland Paris because it'd be rude not to really, wouldn't it? So that's what's happening. That's the thing. Sorry I didn't feel much this morning, but obviously trying to mobilise a toddler and three grown adults and all the luggage and everything like that because we drove here to Ashford because it was just easier than trying to get up to London to be fair from the southeast. So obviously it's been a little bit of a stress and what have you. We've had stuff to eat this morning, we've had some breakfast. My hair is still crazy all my life. Um, so it is currently 10 past 10. Our train leaves at 10.58. Gate should be announced in about 20 minutes and then we'll be going down to the platform. This is just the normal platform, so we need to go over the bridge and across and down to get the Eurostar, so that will be fun. And yes, it's little Aria Bean's first ever holiday. So she's very excited, but she's also very tired. Obviously, being only two and a half, it's quite a journey for her. So she's been playing in the child's play area, which is great. I'm so glad they have that here at Ashford because they don't have it at St Pancras, so that was a good shout. Got her in plenty of time, only got a little bit lost um, in the beginning, sort of because the car park configuration is a bit weird because I had booked ahead and everything like that. But yes, we are ready to go. I have all of my Haunted Mansion ness on. Bam, it's raining as per usual. Nothing unusual there, is there? But yes, so we will be heading to France, to Paris, to uh, Disneyland Paris in around an hour's time ish. Kind of ish. Something like that. Anyway, so uh, I will go and I will see you when we get there. staying at Hotel Campanal. So for those of you who don't know where that is, it's what used to be the Kyriad Hotel or the Kyriad Ho Hotel, however you want to pronounce it. But here's the thing. So we were all meant to be sharing a room, um, a quad room. And then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, it's going to be a nightmare. Like three grown adults in a tiny room with a toddler. Like not a great idea if I'm honest, you know. So I did at the last minute book a room for myself. Now I do feel a little bit bad because um, Sean and Andrew and Aria are downstairs in this building. They've got a ground floor, I've got a first floor. Um, but their room's tiny compared to mine. But the reason why they have to have that room really is because it has the bunk beds in it for Aria to sleep in. Whereas this room um, just literally has a double bed. In fact, these were twin beds when I got into this room and I've pushed them together because I ain't sleeping on a single. So it's really, really big in here though. I'm actually really impressed. And we have like, fair enough, not a great view. It's a view of the car park, but fully functioning opening windows, which is nice. It's actually quite warm at the moment. So I like that. Um, big wardrobe kind of thing. I've got a little dressing area and a kettle so I can have a cup of tea so thank god for that and I also bought um, <clears throat> um what are they called oh, I'm trying to think also bought pot noodles with me as well because we're doing this on a budget obviously so yeah it's got a nice little desk area over here 
and everything. But it's a massive, massive room compared to theirs. Literally, theirs is tiny, and I feel kind of bad about it. But I'll show you, like, mine. So I have, like, this massive walkway, because mine's a, a corner room. So I have, like, this massive, like, hallway weirdness. So I love it, because it means that it's, like... It makes the room feel so much bigger and more spacious and it kind of separates the door from like the sleeping area and I kind of like that but at the same way <laughs> at the same time I kind of feel bad because Sean and Andrew's room is literally not even the size of like this I wouldn't have said like this part of the room um, it's a lot lot smaller because their bunk beds are literally like here where this wall would be um, and then they've got the same sort of a twin bed so that they push together obviously so that they could sleep in the same bed together being a married couple obviously I have just dumped my stuff so sorry that it's a bit messy um so is that and then it's just got a cute little bathroom area which is like it's more than enough for me got a little shower over a bath and and stuff you know <clears throat> so it wasn't too bad because originally like the quad room, which is the one with the bunk beds, and the Eurostar worked out as £200 per person. This room on its own was £313, um, which kind of sucks, I guess. But at the same time, it's, it is what it is. You know, I got it through a benefits programme at work, so it wasn't too bad, to be fair. I can't really divulge too much about that because it will kind of tell everyone where I work, but we get a benefits programme where if we accrue enough points basically we can use it towards our hotel breaks and stuff like that so it's it's a year's worth of points that i've used on three nights but you know what i kind of think it's worth it because it just gives us all that little bit of space especially because poor poor little aria is very very tired at the moment you know she's very overtired she has been a very good girl for most of the day to be fair to give her a credit she's been a very good girl but it's a lot of travelling, you guys. Like, it was two hours in the car from where we live to Ashford. Then, obviously, she's been on the train on the Eurostar for two hours. And then she had to wait around for the bus. She's done really well. She has been a trooper. Sean's just put her down for a nap. We're not going into the parks today because we've only got three-day park tickets. We were going to go to Valde Europe and go to the shopping centre. However, little one is exhausted. And there's just no point dragging her around trying to get her on the RER and stuff like that and we're knackered as well so yes we're just going to chill for a little bit let her have a nap and then we're going to go into the Disney village this evening and get some dinner and have a look around the shops because I think that's kind of the best thing to do with a little one you need to recognize when they just need like a rest so yeah anyway that's everything this is a really long segment but that's okay because it's going to be a short day because it's only travel day so that being said, I'll probably catch up with you when we're in the Disney Village over dinner. So, fun fact, this hotel is odd. I cannot actually switch this light off, okay? So you've got a light above, you've got the light right by your head. Um, you'd think that this switch would operate it, but no, it turns off this light. That one, up there. So that's what it operates. So that doesn't turn it off. And then... Come around here, because this is the main panel of lights, okay? So, that one does the entryway. That one does the bathroom. This one still does this light. Nothing turns this light off. Not even, if I go around the entryway, this light is literally, for this one here, off and on. So, legit, you guys, I cannot actually turn this bedside lamp off. So how the hell am I supposed to sleep when that's going to be, like, right by my head? Like, that's ridiculous. Not impressed right now. I've got to figure out how to do this. And the thing is, I even looked down here because I was like, is there any, like, because obviously I've pushed the beds together... Is there a thingy down there? No, nope, there is a plug for, like, you know, a socket to charge your phone. Um, but nothing to actually turn this stupid light off. So, 
not impressed about that if I'm honest. The beds are also quite hard. And uh, this one has subsided. I've literally just sat on it just to watch because I've got something running on the iPad. And um, the whole bed has subsided. So it's sliding downwards. Wouldn't recommend Hotel Campanile if I'm honest. Don't think I'll be staying here again already. Especially if that light won't go out and I can't sleep because that is not good. <laughs> ham and Swiss. She, she really wants my ham and Swiss, but you're a vegetarian, missus. You're not allowed. Not allowed. Hee <laughs> cheeky choppies. Then we got Fanta and we got a brownie. So, yeah, go tuck into this. Ooh. <laughs> this child, though, literally does not know what to do. We've come into World of Disney. They have all of the Christmas things out. I am so excited. All the homeware stuff out. Like, there's so much I want to buy for my house. It's actually a little bit unbelievable right now. So much stuff. Oh. But it is very busy. And trying to keep hold of a baby when she wants to touch everything is uh, its proving a little challenging, you guys, not gonna lie. So, you know. Oh, hang on, baby. There we go, there's people. Don't forget, there's people walking around. Ooh. Literally, you guys, so much stuff. I'm on the hunt for the snack spirit jersey, the Christmas one. Christmas it. Sorry, I'm trying, it's like trying to herd a cat at the moment. I've lost my sister, I've lost my brother-in-law. It's all good, it's fine. Christmas, oh my God, Christmas. Oh, ah, ah, mind, mind the little one, thank you. There we go, darling. Oh dear. Oh my god, they've got Halloween things still and Halloween snacks. Oh! Best of both worlds. They've still got Halloween, Sean! They have. Are you vlogging? Yeah. Oh no. I'm vlogging with a child in tow, it's fine. Ooh. So good. Ooh, come on. There we go. Ooh. Are you excited? <laughs> She's like, I've lost my tiny mind, aren't you, Hannah? I don't know what's going on. Funny. Right, we can't go behind there, so... Where else we going? Yeah. It flashes. Ooh, be careful. Be careful. Do you like that? How much is it? It's too much money. Ooh, too expensive. 18 euros. Ooh, that's very expensive, Aria. Ooh. Yeah, too much money, darling. We've got enough money today. Maybe another day, yeah? You look so cool. Yeah. Ooh, sorry, baby. Ooh. Should we pop it back for now and then we can get it another time maybe? Okay. Yeah? Yeah, we can hang it back on the hook for a minute. Other way up, sweetie. Like these ones are. Yeah. There we go, you're the best. We've got High five! Money at the end of our holiday, then we'll get one, okay? <laughs> She's like, Mama, I don't believe your lies. <laughs> no, I know. Fine. She'll find other stuff in the parks that she'll want. This is them in their natural habitat, trying to take a picture. Trying to take a selfie. They've left me in the Nuggle. Captain Nuggle, we're, 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 we're here. Look, they're down there. Here's me and Captain the Nug. And there they are, in the distance, trying to get all romantical. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm joking, don't worry. I'm completely joking, but look, look, in their natural habitat. Bubbles, darling. They've got to get the right selfie angle. They've got to go all the angles. Here he goes, he's saying, I can't do it, help. And she says, that's okay, baby, i got to push the button. And he says, okay, cool, look, i got longer arms than you. 
that smile while we take this picture. Look at that, isn't it so cool? This is why I should never be allowed to go on holiday with anyone. Oh no. She's decided she's keeping these ears, even though we've told her she needs to return them. <laughs> Good times. We're in the Disneyland Hotel. So, found cute things. Oh, be gentle. Children, social interaction is hard. Okay, so back in the room. It is 10 to 10 in the evening. Um, I know I didn't really film too much at at like Disney Village but it's always a bit awkward trying to film when you're walking around looking at things like it's just it's I don't know I'm not great at vlogging when um, when I'm shopping really like doing studio tour merchandise walkthroughs is one thing but like having to do videoing whilst sort of navigating around people in busy places with a toddler is very very awkward so um, sorry I didn't really feel much from today, if I'm honest I'm probably just going to lump this in with whatever we get up to tomorrow. I don't think they're going to be like long long vlogs if I'm honest, just because, um, like I say, it's Ari's first time away and we want to make sure that she's enjoying stuff, not me constantly being like, oh let's film this, let's film that, so that's kind of how it is at the minute, which is fine. But yes, anyway, as you would have noticed, I have managed to actually turn the light off. There is a tiny, 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 tiny rocker switch underneath it, like in an area that you wouldn't even think to check. So, because I went downstairs to Sean and Andrews before we left for Disney Village and was kind of complaining about it. And they were like, yeah, there's a rocker switch. I was like, yeah, I've tried that, like on the wall here. I said, here. Ugh. I was like, it doesn't do anything. And they were like, no, 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 there's a little clear plastic one just underneath. Nightmare. But at least it means that I'm not going to be sleeping with lots of like light in my face so that's always good um yeah tomorrow's gonna be disneyland park i'm not used to the fact that out here the parisian park opens at like 10 o'clock in the morning because we don't have extra magic hours obviously because we are not staying on site so it's just a bit odd because i'm used to getting up like stupid o'clock in the morning for florida and sort of doing stuff so that's odd that's gonna be novel i think um, unfortunately, as well, the TV <laughs> only carries French channels, nothing English, nothing at all English. So I'm going to set the iPad up again. Um, I nearly finished watching Bridge to Terabithia um, earlier whilst I was taking my rest and then a lot were napping downstairs. So I'm going to finish off watching that. Bridge to Terabithia is one of my all-time favourite movies. Like, it hits you in the feels and I cry like a baby, but I love it. Love it. So anyway, I'm going to do that. I didn't bring any tea bags because I didn't think that we got kettles as standard, which we do. So that's going to be a port of call for the breakfast buffet tomorrow because I'm going to be nicking those tea bags. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be nicking them tea bags. Uh, not that I have a cup because they don't give you any cups, they just give you literally a kettle. Sad times. So, and I'm not buying another mug because I've got 50 million mugs at home. I bought like four when I was in. Uh, Florida, so whoops, Ugh, whoops. So anyway, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to watch the rest of Bridge to, Bridge to Terabithia. Oh my God, I can't even speak. My hair is crazy. It's raining a lot outside, so it's gone all nasty. And look, and I'm going to get into my PJs and I'm going to go to bed. So I will see you tomorrow morning for hopefully some Disney magic. <laughs>